this gamers forum back with another interesting video on clash of kings so guys if you're new to channel please subscribe to this channel if you focus on tips and tricks regarding clash of kings you will get all the necessary data and details over each and every for this channel so guys in today's video we are going to talk about two of the very important event one is the building day of the conquest and second one is going to be the gathering day guys i'm going to give you the basic trick that can give you uh uh saving of lot of time and you are able to unlock all the nine reward chests in just 2 to 5 minutes for sure guys on both the days guys so let's begin the video without waste time if we talk about today is the monday and today is the gathering date so let's start with the gathering day guys for the gathering day completion of the quest in just 2 to 2 to 3 minutes there are three different thing that you need the first one is going to the level 12 plots guys let me tell you level 12 plots can be achieved from the event uh, or runes occupation rewards on the daily basis that every alliance member or the alliance that have obtained or captured the runes for their alliance is going to get for free guys if your alliance didn't have any captured runes then you are not able to get those rewards guys the plots used to look like this you can see out here level 1 11 plots as well as level 12 treasure plots guys both of them can be obtained from the same source the runes occupation rewards this is the first one guys the second thing that you need out here guys is going to be a hero guys that hero is being uh, that skill comes under the development process and you can see out here it is on a various level uh, check out the rapid gathering this rapid gathering can give you exact at the same time gathering all the resources of the plot whether it is food wood and iron this is the second star skill if we talk about the first star skill it is going to quickly gather all the resources for the food and wood plot guys so don't miss out this particular one <coughs> sorry yeah these two skills are going to be very much important over here guys the third thing that you need out here is a bonus card guys try to activate 100% bonus card so maybe if you mismatch or you are using level 11 plot then you can go on with guys so let's activate one of the bonus card for sure uh war one bonus card and that's all guys and now you have seen out my troops are already gathering all so i have been gathering iron plots also so i am going to gather them quickly by using the skills for sure guys you can see out here all the plots is gathering now i have some of the uh, food and wood plots also so i will, so i will going to gather them also quickly try uh, always try, uh, keep in mind at least at the one you should send black dragon so that you that you can get some of the extra rewards in return for sure guys so don't miss out these small things guys these are going to be very much useful as well as helping for obtaining all the nine chests for sure guys so i set up again and i'm going to use the second skill of god of harvest guys so don't miss out this particular thing the god of harvest is the hero that i'm talking about so here it is the second skill and now here it is you can see out here and now i think all the points are be covered over here let's have you at the conquest so that you can get over you that how much point i have obtained from uh, getting level 12 uh, total 12 plots i have gathered on so you can see over here 210 points guy a uh, million points guys and 174 is the checkpoint that 210 can be achieved only by activating 100% bonus card and you can see out how much time it is it doesn't even ca captured 5 minutes of time from my side guys it is the easiest trick to go on with so that it can save a lot of time you don't have to spend all the day for the gathering purpose and just do this thing just unlock the god of harvest and its skills and just go on with the gathering day guys apart from this there is another way of gathering uh in the conquest day guys all you need to do is to 
put your troops in the alliance mine one or two days before the conquest is going to start or the gathering day is going to appear guys it can help you to gather a huge amount of resources from the alliance mine and after on the gathering day you can activate a bonus card and just withdraw those troops and try to open all the uh, point rewards in just one go guys so this is the second way now let's move to the second event that is going to be tomorrow the building day i'm telling about building day right now because that particular thing that the trick that i'm going to uh, tell you is going to have to be done one day before the gathering day that's why i'm here guys so for that particular trick you just need to have some of the reformed ways over here for that you need to go to the expansion over here guys if you have done some of the extreme expansion on your buildings guys all you need to do is to recall everything is to take everything back from there guys okay like you can see out here here is the one guys do you see at the right middle corner of the screen there is a uh, recalling thing means all the resources that you have given or invested in this particular upgrade can be recalled from your side guys okay but a small amount only 75 percent can be recalled and 25 percent will be wasted on so it is a quite risky but if you want to be at the top of the event list guys if you want to finish in first second third just do it at all the buildings that you are having on like you can see out here i'm having here and apart from this for the cavalry also i'm having all i can uh, uh, capture all these three so, so it will gather a lot of the white gold stones over here guys so ca capture uh, the maximum of the wild gold stone after that just activate a bar buff whether it is 100 percent 200 percent and just try to go on with again guys try to invest again the white gold stones for this same scenario and you can able to obtain the maximum of the points for the kvk guys like this you can stay at the top of the list guys and definitely it will be going to work and please keep in mind don't do this particular trick on the building day because building day used to count every <coughs> upgrade as well as degrade means power increment for the building purpose as well as po uh, power decrement for the building purpose so on that particular day if you are able to do this particular thing then your power will be counted at minus guys you're not able to achieve anything so all you uh, just you need to do all this uh, degradation process one day before the building day so that you are able to do the upgrade uh, process on the building day for sure guys i hope that you guys understand my words for sure guys so this is the first way of the building day second way is again the same that years from many years many players are doing on guys just all you need to do is to uh, just demolish all the plots guys yes guys uh, your uh, iron mines your uh, hospitals all these uh, demolish all of them and on the building day just all you need to do is rebuild all of them to up to p5 for sure guys this will definitely going to and don't forget to activate a bonus card for sure this will help you to obtain all the rewards just for sure it is also a hundred percent working tree so these are the two tricks that you can go with the building day and i have told you two tricks for the gathering day guys so these are the things these are the hacks that you can use on these first two days for obtaining all the nine chests with these you don't have to do much of the efforts and two to five minutes of your side can be consumed in this particular process and the rest of the day you can do whatever you want guys so that's all for today's video i hope that you guys really like the video content if you find the video information useful please hit the like and subscribe button for sure i will be back with another video as soon as possible till then keep going with gamers forum thank you guys